that sooner or later you have to pick up and move. I really thought that was the point of it. I don't know, Davy. I don't know why you think that you can't just stay in that nice place. Why this you one gets a bit goofy. Why did you come here today? Was it to improve your life? Was it to get a better job? Nobody's here. Was it to make your relationships more meaningful? No. You came here to be perfect. This workshop... I moved. This workshop is going to teach you how to be perfect. I want your friends, the people in your life, to look at you and think, Wow, this person is a better human being than I am. Right now, who do you think about... Uh, who do you think about that way in your own life? Who do you know who is so well developed as a person that they make you disgusted with yourself? Compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, ungrateful. I intend to make you into that person. Perfection is within your grasp. The question is not how do we do it, but how do we do it effortlessly. This is so easy. It About is so easy. About halfway through the game, the perspective so shifts. Easy. Being perfect is effortless. Oh my god, it's Saruman! Oh wait, Sauron, sorry. <laughs> and you play as the teacher. And suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh, and also you can, can move, move around the classroom now. Oh, thank you, baby. Um, now this is interesting. Oh, look, it's the lamppost. Dude, this is totally Sauron. <laughs> um. I'm thinking that at this point, when I really think about it, he has made the transition via the last level of house cleaning. He's suddenly, and this is so bizarre, he, he's suddenly going from fixating on his own self-validation to he's, he's, he's reached a place where he has validated himself and his own feelings. He doesn't have to fixate on fixing himself anymore. We did that in the last level. It was a quote-unquote cleansing of the soul. They're cleansing of the mind. Something. According, I mean, like, if we if we take Davy's interpretation, this is basically he's reached a place where he's happy and sure of himself and where he's at. So right now, I think that all of this, maybe, this is like a classroom, right? This is maybe he's decided who he is, where he stands, and what he thinks. And now, we're looking at how the rest of the world is towards him. So, right now, we're a dickhead professor. Being perfect is effortless. Maybe he's trying, maybe he's expressing that the world is telling him, You can be perfect! You have to pretend like you're perfect to everyone! Does that sound familiar or reminiscent of anything related to social media to you guys? This is the key. How do I achieve it with no effort? On the way to work, I told an older... <laughs> Aww, an elderly person to start contributing to society. Kids should not follow their dreams. Oh god, what do I say? This is all so horrible. <sighs> Being perfect is effortless. God, shut the hell up. I don't like this at all. I don't like this asshole. But it... I can totally see that there are some people out here who try to say that. Well, let me tell you right now, if it isn't effortless, then it's not the right answer. I still love you. you. It's just that you make me feel cold on the inside. What the fuck? This suddenly got extremely personal and intimate. Being alone must be awful. Oh my god, this is all horrible. I don't want to say any of this. This is terrible. Why is Coda making you be the bad person? I... Being alone must be awful. I don't I don't know what you have to say about me for that for saying that, but still. What? Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that! Thank goodness all of you perceive me as being wise and intelligent. I didn't mean to do that. Why are those options grayed out, but I can actually choose them? Do you understand that you won't be happy until you love me? This is for you. Oh my 
There are people out there like that. Seek out only one thing. What is the easiest, simplest path forward? Ew, I'm developing a cyst. Gross. Okay, bizarre and kind of random. Question, why are some of them grayed out and one of them is basically like, you should choose this one? Well, fuck you, fuck your rules. Fuck your authority. I'm gonna choose what I wanna choose. Because I actually can. Do you understand that you won't be happy until you love me? This is for you. Sorry. Just voice out. Ha ha ha, just kidding. Anyone wanna do some ecstasy after that? There is no truth. There is no path. Uh yeah. What if I'm not a good teacher? That sounds like the person's own insecurities kind of leading into their dialogue. Do what is easiest. Do what is simplest. Feel what is true. Well, that doesn't seem like that kind of advice would lead to being perfect. Holy shit, you guys! Something's coming out of the back of the room! Look out! <clears throat> um... I'm gonna indulge in some insecurities that I may be feeling. I'm... what if I'm not a good teacher? Nothing. No one. It's coming for you! It's going to destroy you! Everyone run! Um... I have no idea why that's back there. So I'm just gonna <laughs> ignore it. I felt pretty hard for this one. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. I think about this game a lot these days. Well, that's pretty bizarre. I mean, maybe I can see how you... Uh... This one took Oops. a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this, and it's not like it's particularly complex, so I remember I found that a little strange at the time. I have no idea what this level actually is, but just because I'm a critical thinker, I don't just go with the obvious answer. I look for alternatives, and then I uh, judge them accordingly. Maybe... There was four months between the last one and this one, not because it this one took longer to develop. Maybe he didn't have an idea for anything until here. I mean, that's plausible, right? <laughs> Sorry, I had to yawn. I was muting the mic. <clears throat> I've also had a bit of a cough. Which is why I've been muting occasionally, not sure if you can even tell, but haven't recorded for this long in a long time. Um, anyways. You should always... You should always stop and think about different possibilities for something. Don't just go with the obvious. Question things. Don't... Well, to get a little bit more, <laughs> to get a little bit more general and assertive, don't just take the obvious answer. I, I want you to critically think, stop, and, and just try to come up with other possibilities when it comes to the news, when it comes to different aspects of your life, when it comes to politics, when it comes to anything, ask yourself, uh, this isn't applicable to the game, but I, I think I should just say it. Ask yourself, what is the agenda of where I'm getting this information? Come up with different, I, different interpretations of the facts in front of you, of what's in front of you. Come up with different ideas, different theories, and then put them all to the test. Apply those facts to those ideas. And then come up with your own conclusions. Uh, that's what critical thinking is all about. So, honestly, Davey is coming up with a lot of his own ideas. 
But I'm not just nodding my head and going, oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. I'm stopping and I'm forming my own conclusions. That's really, really important. And it's a skill that I was taught in school. And you learn and practice that skill by coming up with different possibilities uh, for ideas on like what to believe and then applying the facts to that. Even if you don't believe them, that's what debating is. Oh, I can jump. That's what debating is all about. When I was in school, I was part of a, <laughs> I'm a dork. I was part of a debate team. And sometimes I was assigned an argument that I didn't believe in, that I didn't personally identify or agree with. But you have to come up with reasons to support it and argue it. That's exactly what you need to do. And sometimes you'll find that... I don't know how else to say this, but maybe you were wrong. All right, so we are on a stage. Oh my God, this is, <laughs> this is bizarre. This is, and it, let's stop. Let's stop and look at Davy's design advancements. I, I don't know. I don't know a lot about games and stuff, but let's look at how things look and how he's developed. So, I mean, this, this doesn't really have a lot of showcasey graphics and design and stuff. I mean, lighting is pretty, you know, minimal. Like, where the fuck is this light coming from? Not nowhere, really. Oh, God, like, literally nowhere that light is coming from nowhere. And not really great textures and not really great... Oh, yeah, the metal, the metal. The metal is, uh... <clears throat> pretty realistically reflecting light and stuff, but I don't think that that's because of Davy's immaculate uh, coding skills. I think that it's probably just part of the engine that he's using. So anyways, let's continue. Probably the point of this game has nothing to do with what it looks like aesthetically, but the content itself. So there's nothing here. There is literal fucking hell. All right, the performance is, a, is beginning. Places, please. In this scene, you will be playing as me. We are at a gathering of professionals. First. Oh, fucking fuck! Jesus. First, you'll start out leaning against this wall. Who is talking? I can't go back out. I cannot go back out now. All right. So... Sounds like the director is speaking, and the director is saying that I am playing as him. Oh, it's so bright! Oh, <laughs> hey, look at the, uh, oh! I have not been looking around for those three dots, but there they are. There are those three dots. I wonder if they appear in every single level, and I've just been missing them. Listen to the music here, atmospherically. It's a little bit weird. <clears throat> First, you'll start out leaning against this wall. If you say so. Good, stay right there. All right, staying. The woman across the room in this chair, oh, is a professional photographer of animals. It's your dream to photograph animals professionally. This is your one chance to learn something from her, to gain something, and to succeed. Go on, say something to her. Right. Uh, give me a sec. Got a cough. Sorry, sorry. Try to cut that out if I remember. Just how to sort throw. Anyway. <clears throat> Hello. Sorry I have to leave. Or where's the bathroom? Alright. Happy. Wise. Successful. 
focused. The woman across the room in this chair is a professional photographer of animals. It's your dream to photograph animals professionally. This is your one chance to learn something from her, to gain something, to succeed. <clears throat> it looks like happy, wise, successful, focused. This looks like a person that the protagonist really greatly admires and wants to be like, I guess. <clears throat> and it looks like because of all these adjectives, uh, this is how we perceive them. Okay, say something. All right, well, all the other ones are weird, so let's say hello. 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 That's it? That's not a conversation. Who's saying that? The person or the director? You need to actually converse with her. Be a human being. Do it again. What else was I supposed to say? Alright, we get another chance. I'm super, super scared right now. I like you. Or, here are all my hopes and dreams. Wow. That escalated quickly. Um, I'm not gonna say I like you because that immediately becomes creepy. Um, according to the scenario, we haven't even met this person. So I guess the best option is just to be awkwardly nervous. No, 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 that's not what I said to her at all. You're completely missing the tone of the conversation. I was reserved, but I knew what I wanted. I was confident. For some reason, it was just that one moment, but I was confident. Maybe it's that you need a better feel of the setting. There were a lot of other people around us. I'll give you some props to work with. These cones that bounce when you touch them will represent the people nearby. Now talk to her again. Sorry, coughing. <clears throat> um, I don't know what you actually expect. Oh! <laughs> I don't, I don't, oh, balls. I don't know what you actually expect from me. Um, okay. Possible dialogue choices are you must have worked really hard to get where you are. I'll bet you've learned to lean into the, what? That's weird. I'll bet you've learned to lean into the pain. Oh my god, that is so... I mean, awkward. That is something that you might actually say to person to a person after, like, talking in-depth to them for an hour and a half after, at, like, at, like, 1.30 in the morning after you've had a couple beers and you've known each other for, like, eight months. What are some sacrifices you've had to make? <clears throat> I really don't know what the point of having these stupid atmospheric, oh, these people were in the area kind of thing is. What should I say? All right, well, logically, the most normal thing for me to say is you must have worked really hard to get where you are. You're messing it all up again. You'll freak her out if the conversation gets that personal that quick. What? Do you not realize how important this was for me? I'll never get another... I'll never get another... Oh, shit. Hmm. I want to try something. Try stepping back from the stage. Alright, well there's the lamppost signaling that it is the conclusion of the level. Seriously, I feel like it didn't have any point whatsoever to my dialogue choices didn't make any difference whatsoever. Alright, I'm here. Hello. <clears throat> okay. I can't sprint. It's a theater. Hey, can I jump? Oh god, that's bright. Fucking hell. Uh, this looks like a nice theater. It can, uh, it can seat a lot of people. This is a bigger theater than, well, almost any other theater I've been to. Question. Why is the director telling me that I'm not doing it right 
And that- and why am I playing him? And why is he not giving- Fucking hell. Pretty lights. Um, and why is he not giving me natural dialogue choices to actually succeed? Well, I don't really see anything at the very end of- Fucking hell. The game ends with this eerie premonition of what's going to happen okay, yes, next in working. Coda's life. The, the solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away. What? Which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, You're where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. Oh, fuck! Oh, God. But what can you do? After this, Koda went off and took another five months to make a new game. But did he take five months to make the game? Mobius trip. To play this game properly, you must keep your eyes closed. Click to begin the game. All right, let me pause it. And... Let me take a short little five-minute break to collect my thoughts on the last level. <laughs> 